kumusta pore noy or pore nai kumusta uh, tagalog students welcome to learning with albay tonight this is about affixes so i will be teaching you tagalog and this is all about affixes okay uh, first and foremost let me um, bring you some questions what are our questions in this episode question number one what root words accept the prefix taga second question what meaning does the prefix taga bring third question how do i use taga plus root word in a sentence <laughs> Yes, once again, hello, magandang gabi from Ohio, USA. And did you notice something different tonight? Tonight, because uh, this video is supposed to be coming to you at um, 9 o'clock in the night, my time. And if you are in Asia, magandang umaga. Again, my question, did you notice something different today? I believe so, because today is really different. I used to, to deliver this lesson on a live session, but this time I decided to, to record it first before I got to deliver it to you. And you know why? Because it's holiday times and I believe that people are so busy, uh, maybe preparing for their party or like maybe they are hosting a party in their own residence or they would be going somewhere else. So that's why I just decided to record this episode and I hope that you will still enjoy it, right? Let's find out. In my end, I'm kind of experimenting. Let's Let's see how it will go okay and so much of the introduction i am albine and here here we go let me bring you my presentation yes i am coach albine on instagram and on Taga, uh, on uh, facebook <laughs> we have this group called tagalog with albine yes but of course i'm albine your teacher in tagalog so let me bring you this topic and which is what we call the prefix taga taga yes taga is a kind of affix okay let's start it taga is a prefix yes prefix is what we want to learn today right prefix Taga is a prefix. What is a prefix? A prefix is consists of at least two letters, so it may be added to a root word, which then brings a whole, which then brings a whole new word with distinct meaning. There you go. Our definition of a prefix. Unlapi is the Tagalog term for prefix. Take note of that. Unlapi is the Tagalog term for prefix. Okay, unlapi, it came from two words, of course, una for first or prior, and then lapi for affix. Okay, I hope you appreciate this page and let's move on. Okay, and let's find out what really uh, taga means. What really prefix taga means here we go it indicates that the person resides in the place that's mentioned after taga take note of that let's see let's have more let's have some examples so take note again the person resides in the place that's mentioned after taga let's have this column which are places right Manila is a place, America is a place, Ilog is also a place, right? Ilog means river in English, Bundok is another place, which, me which means mountain. Another place is Bayan, Bayan means uh, literally Bayan means town, okay? Let's apply 
a prefix to these words, right? For example, we have Taga Manila. Okay, Taga Manila means a resident of Manila. Taga America, likewise, it means a resident of America. Taga Ilog. Taga Ilog, I like to define it like someone who lives in the river. Taga Ilog, someone who lives in the river. Next, we have Taga Bundok. Taga Bundok means someone who lives in the mountain. And another example, we have Taga Bayan. Taga Bayan is someone or those who lives in the town's section where political seat is located. But Taga Bayan. So take note, uh, it's a, a small section of town or it can be a large section also or popular section of the town. In, in the Philippines, a town is a one... One place, of course, uh, if you are familiar in the Philippines, uh, a town consists of barangays. Barangay, barangays are the uh, subsections of a town, right? So, uh, barangay or barrio. And then there's one place which is most likely the center of the town. And then that is also what we call bayan. Although the complete uh, uh, town itself is called Bayan, but it can have a specific meaning when, when you say Taga Bayan, so it is uh, where the political seat, which means it's the, where, where the municipal building is located. Also, it's the same as saying where the town's church or parish church is located and most likely these three uh, buildings are in that section the church the plaza and the uh, uh, municipal building so in, in uh, the philippines that is what we call the bayan bayan or if you are someone or if your friend is someone who lives in that section where there is the the municipal building the parish church and the plaza he or she is someone we call tagabayan okay let's proceed and then prefix taga another uh, thing to remember on prefix tag taga it indicates where a person came from or where a per person is born in and that land is mentioned after taga okay let's demonstrate that let me demonstrate that okay if there is person a person a says taga saan ka again taga saan ka so in english it means where are you from okay and then of course person b will say taga kavite ako Again, Taga Cavite ako. So that means I'm from Cavite. In English, that is how you like to say it. I'm from Cavite. In Tagalog, Taga Cavite taga ako. Okay. Okay, that's uh, one example. And let's proceed further. Uh, things to understand on prefix Taga. Prefix Taga may be followed by demonstrative it may be followed by a demonstrative pronoun it may be rito rian or roon okay so for example okay another person or uh, same person a person a would say kilala mo ba ang nasa larawan so in in english that means do you know who's in the picture based on our graphical presentation here so there, there's a person here so uh, first person will say kilala mo ba ang nasa larawan okay of course there's person b and person b would say oo tagarito siya oo tagarito siya uh, it means yes he or she lives here take note uh, first person wants to know if if uh, the first person wants to know if the second person know 
who's in the picture kilalam ba ang nasa larawan and then person b's response o o tagarito siya so here's an example of taga plus root word word okay taga rito siya so rito is the demonstrative pronoun rito means here here of course rito means here tagarito he lives here or she lives here tagarian tagarian rian is second person which means there there second person tagarian siya okay that's an example of taga taga plus demonstrative pronoun and if we want to use the third person if the information is about the third person we would say tagaroon tagaroon which means he doesn't live here he doesn't live there where you are but he lives there in another place not here not there but there in english there we in tagalog you say roon roon tagaroon tagaroon tagarito tagarian tagaroon okay i hope you appreciate that um before we proceed or before we um learn more things please uh if you are new in this channel welcome please don't forget to subscribe and of course you wish you want to learn tagalog and you wish to uh, you wish to be my student welcome welcome subscribe to my channel but if you are repeat viewer thank you so much i appreciate you yes and if and also i would like you to hit the like button please and if you miss some of my lessons there are lots of old lessons already uh, when we were done in this session please uh, consider watching my other old videos yes don't forget to hit the like if button if you are subscribed already and also hit the bell notification button so you get notified when a new video is uploaded let me also remind you that this video is part of the playlist and please check out the playlist tagalog root words affixes and sentence construction there are a lot of videos already yes and uh, i don't want you to miss my other videos and it, this playlist will help you build your tagalog vocabulary so this these are all suited for both beginners and intermediate in tagalog okay okay now uh, move let's uh, return to our lesson for today prefix taga indicates that the task activity assignment duty job or responsibility is associated with the person okay so let's have some example of course let's have the root words first luto luto means cook laba laba means wash clothes laba wash clothes specifically especially if you are washing the clothes uh, using your hands okay uh, lista lista means um, make a list okay lista lista or listing in in english list in english okay again luto for cook laba wash clothes lista list palakpak what is palakpak palakpak means clapping your hand like right okay let's uh, add a uh, prefix to these words taga luto taga luto means someone who's who is assigned to cook okay that's taga luto tagalaba tagalaba means someone who washes clothes as a duty task responsibility or job right next tagalista tagalista means someone who's assigned to list things right next 
taga palakpak. Taga palakpak means someone who's assigned to clap. Okay, easy to understand. That's why I said easy words to learn with the prefix taga. Okay, let's move on. And let's have some sentence examples. And notice the picture here. And what is the picture about? And let's give me, let me give you the sentence. Okay, repeat after me or follow after me. Sasali ako sa paligahan. Again, I'm sorry. Sasali ako sa paligsahan ng pag-awit. Again, sasali ako sa paligsahan ng pag-awit. Kukunin kitang tagapalakpak. Kukunin kitang tagapalakpak. Okay, how do you like to, to say that in English? Or, uh, of course, I would like you to understand it in a better way. And, of course, English is the way to understand it. Okay. Sasali means sasali ako means I'm gonna join. Sasali ako means I'm gonna join. Sasali ako. Uh, sa paligsahan, sa is the preposition in Tagalog. Paligsahan means singing contest. Singing contest. Paligsahan o oh, contest is the paligsahan. Contest, paligsahan. Pag-awit, pag-awit is the singing, singing. Paligsahan ng pag-awit means singing contest. Paligsahan ng pag-awit. Okay. Kukunin kita. Kita is the, is the word here. In reality, the pronoun, kita. And ng is just a suffix. Okay. With, when you hear uh, kita, it means uh, it means I to you. So it's like it's it's like a combination of two pronouns, um, really. So it means I then you, right? Kita. So kukunin kita means I will hire you. I will hire you. Kukunin kita. Kukunin means hire. Hire. Okay. Kita is I will do it. Uh, no. Kita, again, I would say, kita consists of two pronouns. One is I and another is you. I is the doer, the doer, and then you, the recipient of the action. Yes, okay, so that is the what it means by kita. Kukunin kita, I will hire you. Okay, I am the one to hire you, the recipient or the effect of that verb is you. Kukunin kita. Okay, NG again is just a connector. Kita connects with the another, with the noun in this case or the duty or yeah, yeah the noun. Yes, kita, kukunin kitang taga palakpak. Taga palakpak means the clapper the clapper again the uh, sentence example is kukunin kitang taga palakpak okay let's proceed and then another example okay si alpine ang naging tagapagturo mo ngayon again si alpine ang naging tagapagturo mo ngayon Okay, the root word here is turo, which means teach. Okay, in English it means Albine has become your teacher today. Albine has become your teacher today. So, taga is the prefix. Again, pag is another uh, affix. In this case, it's, it's not anymore prefix, but I have a separate video on prefix or do I have? Maybe not yet. Maybe later I'm going to send you or I'm going to deliver lessons on PAG. Right? Or if not, maybe you found it somewhere. There's a la lesson. Uh, can, it can be a short lesson. Maybe I've made it somewhere in other platform. PAG. Prefix PAG or affix PAG. But anyway, PAGTURO is the word here. Pagturo has become the 
root word with the prefix taga. Taga pagturo means uh, the teacher, the teacher. Taga pagturo. So taga pagturo is a noun here, and it has it now means teacher because turo means teach right did you did you like this uh, video and did you find values in all my presentations and ma past uh, videos uh, please show us your uh, love and support by uh, uh, contributing now oh, yes uh, of course a little bit of monetary help yes a donation please find the link down in the description okay contribute now or i used to call it uh, buy me a coffee buy me a coffee find the buy me a coffee link and also another way to to help us or to show us your support is to buy our merchandise and also you may also sign up with referral sign up with referral that means i get certain points you get certain points when you sign up uh, to a service or platform okay and yes we speaking of uh, merchandise these are the examples of our merchandise some pillows and a mug mug coffee mugs is saying mag tagalog tayo okay and then of course if you want to know um uh, if you want to to find most of my links where am i how you find me uh, i have an an account at link tree i have a link tree account and this is where you will find uh lots of links right services and merchandise products that i put out there for you uh for you to avail in short okay and of course these are other photos that uh, your fellow uh, tagalog learners had received yes and it shows that we shipped in we are shipping uh here in the u.s and also we are also able to ship to the united kingdom okay and then thank you so much and yes uh take note that in this playlist we already have covered many of these affixes prefixes affixes infixes we have covered them and yes this is we are now in this prefix and in this episode it's done it's finally done on taga prefix i will be happy to deliver more lessons for you and please uh, continue supporting this channel and uh, comment down below your thoughts right and uh, your observations what you really like how do we want to do this uh, how do you want to get my lessons right that is the the question we are just about three weeks to go before 2022 and i'm looking forward to a brand new year and in fact i am i am really thinking I am really thinking of what's how do we want to make it better how do we want to make it better I'm really thinking really uh, am I shall I shall I continue with my live stream or shall I just do recorded videos and yes I'm experimenting today and tell me if you appreciate this or which one you like better recorded videos or live stream i want to know comment down below maraming salamat po thank you for listening thank you for being here with me this far and i'm sending love healing protection light your way maraming salamat magingat po kayo mabuhay Bye.